Now, we got one and in. Good. So, what's the opposite of cutting in? Cutting out. Make sense? So, the structure is a matrix. It really is a matrix. And once again, those of you who did not make the sword um, training and the advanced hand skills training, I gave some homework. Go to Google or Bing Images and put in I Ching. I space C H I N G images. And look what comes up. Take a couple of them, study them, okay? That is the matrix and the code for everything that we do. And now, come back to my blade position. It's not this way, this way, all right? So now, same thing, huh? All right, drop this and out. That's gonna feel weird right now. Because most of you haven't done this before. Out, drop, so my, let's see what the blade is. Look, I drop, turn, see my hand. Remember, when we did this, we had to move this hand out the way, make sure it was clear. Fingers had to be clear, hands clear, arm clear. We did this, right? So now, almost the same. We're doing this, we gotta clear this hand. Down, see that? And look, there, right? So, down, beach, cutting this way, right? So, yeah, down, and there. Now, once you have these basics down, then you have combinations, of course, like anything else. What's that look like? Something like something like this. Look, spear finger. I come here. I cut fist groin. So what am I doing? I did the spear finger. I did the outside. See that? I did the punch. I did the groin. All right. I did the outside knife hand and the inside. All right. So there's much more. So. My suggestion though is this, you work your basic knife form two, because that's the building block, basic knife form one is the building block for two, and two is the building block for this. So look, it's the same thing, set it this way, that way. See, set it that way, is this way. But we gotta learn, remember what we learned about the blade. We don't wanna attack ourselves. Ah. And now notice, look at my hands. Notice the circle. You see this? You see this? So, we do happy too. What is this? What is this? This is actually a thousand techniques. It's a thousand techniques. That's just one of them. So I think about it. Look. Watch. See that? The circle, all right? Look, this way, watch. You see, the circle also. So, it's very basic, it's very simple, and it's complex. Electricity is very simple. It's positive and negative. Okay, you have source, delivery, and destination. Sounds simple, and it is, and it's very complex. Okay, computer languages, Zeros and ones, right? Zeros and one. I remember the cards. That's all I remember. Mm -hmm. Zeros and one. But look what we do with computers. But the basic language is the binary code. So the same with these techniques. So now you got to take your time. Take your time. Work your technique. Pick a couple, not too many. I say the first four. You work on how to do how to do spear to the eyes or fists, right? Right here to the nose, right? You create imbalance and startling, right? And then follow right through to the throat. Okay, get that like a cobra strike. Then work on another one. Same thing, fist or fingers, high and groin. When you do groin, remember, you're going, by the way, you're going in, look, my, look watch this, see this? You see that? I'm going in and I'm pulling out. You see that? 
this way. I'm going into the groin and coming this way. So I'm cutting on the way out. And when this comes out, if the right hand is coming out, the right hand should be going in. That's what this form teaches you. All right? So there's no time. It's not, it's not, it's not the right hand going in and then coming out. Left hand's doing nothing. It has to do something. So either it's doing a yang tactic or a yin tactic. So what's that mean? So when I go in, I come here, but when I pull this out, the yang tactic is this. I pull out, bah! See that? Right? I came in, and when I pulled out, see that? So he's busy. That is a yang tactic. A yin tactic is I come in, when I pull out, see, see I got him. I, 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 can, I control, I control from here what's gonna happen. So, once again, it should be doing a yin tactic or yin tactic. Now, what about, look, I, I come out, spear finger, and he blocks, block. He blocked. He blocked. Might even grab. Okay, so let's do, let's do block first. So look, I come, he blocks. That's okay. I come in, he blocks, right? Like the eagle. I come in. Oh, he ducked. <laughs> so what do I do from here? I'm not going to waste my, look, watch this. Look at this energy coming out to go all the way back in. So no, I'm here. As I come out, I'm going to cut. So my, so my outward motion, my pulling back motion is not wasted. See that? And because of my body movement, when I pull to my body, watch this body, look. You see how I'm shifted? You see that? So, oh, the cat's all the pants. So, when, from here, I'm going to cut and pull. See that? Now what do I have? I have up the groin from behind. I have kidneys. I have whatever I want. I'm finishing. So, so that's I'm punching or striking. He, he blocks. I grab. What if I go this way and he grabs? So now he can grab and hold up. And the opposite is he can grab and pull down. All right? Yin and yang. All right? So we'll do up first. I come this way. He, he, look, he, he, he grab. I still can't. Oh, let's turn this way. So. I, okay, let's look at it. I went to punch or attack, he grabbed, he grabbed me. So watch, I'm gonna turn, okay, don't move, stay right there, stay right there. So remember, advanced hand skills help me shift, right? So, so watch, I can come right here, like there, see that? See, grab, I, and then look, I pull out, this is gonna go this way, the opposite way, I pull in. Cut. See that? So here. And I turn as I pull. See that? Because I gotta pull this down because other hand, other hand coming. Other hand's coming. That's a guarantee. I'm getting him first though. That's the other guarantee. So when I come this way, I'm gonna pull this down to affect his, his balance and cut. And now what's available? Armpit. By the armpit, you can stick them here, and you can walk them. Let's walk. Now you can take them. Let's go down, let's go down to the precinct. <laughs> just make sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, actually, maybe just call 911 and leave them there. You may have a problem walking to the precinct like this. So anyway, so, so now, next thing, he grabs low. He grabs low. So look, he grabs, he, look, he grabs low. So what do I do? I pull this way, right? So I can either go for his face, depending on the length of your arm and how close you are. It may, may or may not be possible. When we do Hansu, which is this, and this, before we do that, right? That kind of movement is also pull up. I'm here, so look. See that? I got his eyes. See that? This way, this way. But you don't always have that kind of range. So, where am I? So I come, I can grab it, he grabs. I come here, I attack this with my arm. See that? With my arm. This is new way. People say, well, he can grab this. Hey, grab it. Keep holding. It actually helps me. 
Okay? So yes, all right? I think I can pull and I can cut. I just cut his hand. See? So grab is not the issue when you're in the right position. See? Here, I pull this. Now I have his bicep. When I cut the bicep, his arm is done. He cannot pull that arm back. So I can cut the bicep and then to take him down. Okay, he is subdued. However, do remember, you now have a bleeding person in your apartment or wherever you are. And you gotta be careful. What does that picture look like when the cops come onto the scene? Okay, so what you don't wanna be doing is standing over a person who's down, there's blood on the floor, and you have a knife in your hand. That is not good social defense. Okay, if you do that, you probably need legal defense, of course, but you could be shot. So be aware of that, right? Martial artists have to always use this first. Be aware of everything. Now, so when you grab, grab, right? You take advantage of the grab, pull down, he moved his body, and then I grab him back. He moved his body. He, he knew it was coming, so he moved his body. But look where I am now. So where I am now, I'm behind him with the knife. I can control from here, right? I can simply turn, cut right here. See that? I still have that. Now, now he can still come around. You see that? Look, look, keep coming. Come around my neck. Look. So, like I said, it's not over because somebody got cut. So I can this way, he comes around. Come up around. What goes around comes around. So he comes this way. Hey, look. I'm moving further away. So of course, while I'm doing that, I'm going to control the situation, take advantage of the movement. So he's coming around. Easier to bring him down, right? So if he's moving, I can direct. When someone is static, right, and locked in, that's when it's difficult, right? When make make a muscle, strong muscle. See this? You can you don't fight that. You don't fight that, right? Minutes resistance here. This is touched. That's what they gotta do, see? Just, just touch, right? Go with the point, ah, just touch, that's it. All right, and then you can finish. Okay, so, thank you very much. Now, you have to get used to the outer, now the inner. You have the greater and the lesser. Okay, so now, those of you who are doing a deeper practice, meaning what? You guys are coming to the morning class. You're doing the Hante Guk with Nanyel. You have, or you, have, or you studied the first 10 steps, which is on the app, and which is on the YouTube page. So all you gotta do is the first 10 steps, right? All of this, right? All the knife techniques are coming out of this, right? Coming out of that, right? So it shouldn't be too hard because I shot it in the way on purpose so that people can get it easily from the video. So by the way, I hope you're taking great advantage of this time that we're having now. I dreamt of times where I could be alone for three months, a hundred days. Christine, seeing what the Christine Walsh went to a three year retreat, I was so envious. I said, I wish I could go to the mountains for three years, but our lives are not set up that way. Our lives are very complex, intertwined. How many of you can go away for a hundred days into the mountains? Maybe in the cold, that's about it. Right? Most of you can't do that. How many of you can go away for a month? Johnson and Betty decided to go away for a 10-day retreat. Some of she said, I can't wait. I can't wait. I thought about going with her, too. I said, man, I should go to that the possible retreat. And what happened? Lockdown. She couldn't go. But some of you have that opportunity. Aditi's in lockdown. Kilsen and um, Holly's in lockdown. Many people are on lockdown. So you need to really embrace that and enjoy that. 
And if you're not on lockdown that way, you're stuck, stuck. You're with your family, right? You need to enjoy that. Just look at some old pictures and videos. Look how time passes. Look how the kids are this big and they're that big. The time that's gone is gone for good. We can't stop the time. And we can't change the times that we're in right now. But what we can do is this. Our power is this. How much we accomplish within that time. That's your real power. So coming out of this, from the other side, a lot of you are going to notice you made huge gains. Many others from those, they made a lot of loss. How does that work? Okay, January, February, March, April. Wow. May, let's say five months. Let's say four months. January, February, March, April. That's four months. So those who are not in the game, when I say not in the game, I mean this. Look, Charleston and Brad, Charleston and Betty, you know, Danielle, they're people, that they're in the game. They're in the game. They're setting up these classes, you know, they're, they're teaching, you know, they're cleaning the dojo and they're organizing, right? They're in the game big time, right? Then we have others in the game. You guys are coming to the classes. You're coming to the trainings, the workshops, and you are working it. People are doing it from Texas and France. You're working it. You're in the game. And then we have other people that are not actually in the game, okay? But they're supporters. They're the cheerleading squad and they're in the stands. We know who they are. We know what they are. We feel and see their support. And then, of course, we have people that are not in the arena. We don't know where they are. They're not in the game. So here's the deal. Those who are not in the game, when this which we are locked in now, becomes lifted. When it gets lifted, if it's four months that passed, in their mindset, they've missed four months of material, yes. But also, their body has took, has took in a, taken a step backwards. People are gonna gain weight. They are gonna get weaker. They are gonna lose muscle mass. Bones, that's, that's just a fact, right? They are. But when they think of four months, yes, it's four months. But what they don't realize, realize is this. You guys who have been coming and in the game for the last four months, guess what? When we all get back in the same playing field, you will not be four months ahead. No. You will not be four months ahead you will be 12 months ahead because the amount of material, right, that we've been putting out and giving and putting online, right, is massive, is massive. And it's designed not so that people don't fall behind. I don't think that way. We've got to do something so they don't fall behind. It's going to be terrible. Hell no. Like, what an opportunity. We're going to do stuff to make them move way ahead. So that's what's going to happen. So we all get back together. Many will have a hard time. That's how it is. I'm not, we're not gonna be slowing things down for those who have not been keeping up. Okay, those who have been doing these trainings, we're gonna move you up higher. Okay, you're gonna keep moving up. You're gonna stay up because you showed up. So thank you for making this, but I'm doing this because I want you to really get this material. This is stuff that people have asked for for a long time and I was reluctant but to, to teach, because there's so much to teach. But something about this virtual classes, I'm getting a different kind of focus, a different kind of attention, a different kind of commitment, and people have time to work on it. So I said the time is perfect. Okay, so consider yourself, if you're home alone, you're in the Shaolin Temple, or you're in the Matrix. You just gotta plug in Tune in and download. Okay, see you next time. Peace. Saranghe. And thank you to Chunks of them. Brad. Chirp. Yay. And might as well come here. And thank you, the supporters that helped today. Chirp. Yay. Okay, see you guys next time. Do your practice, pick only four. Pick the first four. High thrust, low thrust, 
Inside, outside. If you have that, you are a lethal weapon. Bye-bye.